thirteenth one. Evaluate integral cos x cos two x dx. So now i is equal to integral cos two x cos x dx multiply two and divide by two. So one by two integral two cos two x cos x dx. This is in the form of two cos a cos b formula. Two cos a cos b. That is equal to cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. So product can be changed as a sum. Transformation takes place. So this can be written of integral of two x minus x cos x plus cos of two x plus x. Cos 3x dx. Let us separate the integrals. So, of of integral cos x dx plus integral cos 3x dx. Of integral of cos x is sin x. Plus integral of cos 3x is sin 3x, but 3x derivative is 3 divided by 3. Take off inside. So sin x by 2 plus sin 3x by 6 plus constant of integration. Now let us move to the next 14th problem. 14th problem. Evaluate integral of cos x cos 3x dx. So now solution i is equal to integral cos 3x cos x dx write down. Multiply by two and divide by two. So this is half integral two cos three x cos x dx. So now we have the formula two cos a cos b is equal to cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. so using this transformation formula so this can be written as of integral of cos 2x plus cos 4x now separate the integrals of times integral cos 2x dx Plus integral cos 4x dx. Okay. Now half times this is sine 2x by 2. Derivative of 2x is 2. Cos is sine 4x, but 4x derivative is 4 divided by 4. Multiply with each term with half. So sine 2x by 4. Plus sine four x by eight plus constant of integration. Fifteenth one. Evaluate integral cos x to the power of four dx. So this one. This cos x to the power of four, we can write cos square x whole square. We have the formula: two cos square x is equal to one plus cos two x. Now, 
this cos square x is 1 plus cos 2 x by 2 whole square. Let us find this value. This is 1 plus 2 cos 2 x plus cos square 2 x by 4. So, 1 by 4, 1 plus 2 cos 2 x plus this cos square 2 x again we can write 1 plus cos 4 x by 2. Now, we can write this is 1 by 4, 1 plus 2 cos 2 x plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 times cos 4 x. Adding these two, so now we can write this is 1 by 4 times 3 by 2, 1 plus of 1 and of 3 by 2 plus 2 cos 2 x plus 1 by 2 cos 4 x. Now, easily we can integrate it. So, now i is equal to integral cos x to the power of 4 dx. Now, this is replaced by this value. Now, 1 by 4 is taken out integral of 3 by 2 plus 2 cos 2 x plus 1 by 2 cos 4 x dx. Now, let us integrate it 1 by 4 of 3 by 2 taken out integral dx plus 2 taken out integral cos 2 x dx plus half taken common out integral cos 4 x dx. This is 1 by 4 times 3 by 2 x plus 2 of sin 2 x by 2 plus of this is sin 4 x by 4 you will get it. So, now 2 2 gets cancelled take 1 by 4 inside you get now 3 by 8 x plus 1 by 4 sin 2 x this is 8 8 into 4 32 plus 1 by 32 times sin of 4 x plus constant of integration. 16th problem evaluate integral of x root of 4 x plus 3 dx. Now, let us say i is equal to integral of x root of 4 x plus 3 dx. So, put 4 x plus 3 is equal to t or t square, this is a better t square. Now, x is equal to t square minus 3 by 4, am I correct? Now, here differentiate on both sides, this will be equals to 4 dx is equal to 2 t dt. Now, multiply 4 and divide by 4, 1 by 4 integral root of 4 x plus 3 into x and 4 dx. Now, 1 by 4 integral x means t square minus 3 by 4 into root of 4 x plus 3 that is also t. Now, 4 dx is 2 t dt 2 1 ja 2 2 ja. 
1 by 4 is taken common out. We have 1 by 4 taken common integral of what do we have? t square minus 3. Now, actually 1 by 2 and 4, 1 by 8 here t square minus 3 multiplied by t square dt. Now, 1 by 8 integral t power 4 minus 3 t square dt. So, 1 by 8 integral t power 4 dt minus 3 common integral t square dt. This is 1 by 8 of t power 5 by 5 minus 3 by 8 into t cube by 3 you will be getting 3 1 ja 3 cancel. This is t power 5 by 40 minus t cube by 64. What is t? t is root of 4 x plus 3. So, that means 4 x plus 3 whole to the power of 5 by 2 by 40 minus 4 x plus 3 whole to the power of 3 by 2 by 64 plus constant of integration. 